Subprapats, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Manx, and I think I butchered that language pretty hard. Please don't unsubscribe from me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's time for Lagoos Hell, as I like to call it. This map is very interesting, and uh, there's a lot of S-rank weapons on this map. We got two Wish Blades, we got a Rex Caliber and a Rex Bolt. So this, this is gonna be fun, I'm looking forward to the final map. And the boss headwind is a stiletto-wielding assassin. Um, he doesn't... <laughs> stiletto-wielding. Sounds, sounds kind of weird. Ah, a stiletto. A warrior's weapon. If you catch that reference, I love you. So... We got a meteor mage here. I don't... Oh, there's a Rex Flame, by the way, in case you didn't didn't see that. So yeah, we got, like, what, six S-rank weapons or something like that? And we also have one of the most broken characters in the world. We have Nazir. This was definitely worth killing the Black Knight over. Uh, he has really good growth rates, but most of his stats are capped anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and also we have Tabarin, who I'm pretty sure is also boosted somehow, because I don't think Tabarin has 39 strength in the vanilla game, does he? I actually don't remember. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna be killing a lot of Lagoos. And, uh, we're probably gonna be warping a bit as well. Now, I'm doing the battle... I've already done the battle preps in this, uh, episode, because in the last one we killed the Black Knight, and I decided to do the battle preps of this one at the end of that, so, uh, so as to not have, like, a three-minute long episode. Alright. This is a map that usually either gets, like, crushed by Resolve Ike, or you just warp skip it. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. This map is actually pretty tough. There's... it can really take you by surprise if you, if you underestimate it. But, we do have some pretty stupidly broken characters right here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's Irvin this. Oh, right, we have animations on. Well, I guess we get to see the Irvin, which looks really good. Oh, that's a crit, I think. Oh, That's amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to turn off animations, though. So, we're gonna do this. Maybe I shouldn't use my Irvin, you know? Like, maybe I should actually save it. I don't know. I have so many silver weapons right now, I feel like I probably shouldn't. Like, the time for conserving weapons, I think, is over. So, we'll put Ike here. Uh, I could actually use the Bright Bow, because the Lagoos here don't have a lot of... Actually, they do have rest, so let's not do that. This is one range heaven, so nearly every enemy on this map is one range. So, you know, you're gonna have a good time. You don't necessarily need to, uh, you know, care about one, two range. So I think we're gonna be good. I have a, a Lagoos Lance here on Mia. I might actually... I, I'm gonna consider dancing for her, I think. I could also just pop a Lagoos Stone. Oh, wait, did I not put a... God damn it, I didn't put a Lagoos Stone on Oki. I got so many Lagoos Stones, there's no reason for me. I should just pop it on the first turn of every map. I have like five Lagoos Stones, it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I suppose we'll, we'll accept the challenge for what it's worth. Now, can we kill this guy? Uh, no, we cannot. That kinda sucks. Can we... Is it safe to put Mia on the front lines? Sure it is. She's, like, dodgy and stuff, right? She has 65 avoidance. That should be good enough, right? No problem. Uh, we don't have any more Lagoos Axis, sadly. I don't know if I should warp someone on the first turn. Maybe I should just warp to Barn. That'd be kind of funny. We'll put Lucia uh, right here with her Silver Sword. We have Eliana. She's just wielding stays, though. I don't know. Who should I... Who should I warp? Should I warp Ike? Should I warp Seahark? I don't know. I will, we'll stay here for the time being. We have the barbecue tome on, uh, on, on uh, Toronio in case we need it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, go for Tubarn. That's uh, that's smart. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he pavised. That's lovely. Yeah. Luckily, Toronio is still a siege tome magnet, which is nice to see. Let's we'll see how that goes. I hope Mia's gonna be fine here. Ah, I may have completely overestimated her survivability, as I tend to do. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not. But I. Oh wait, is she gonna kill this guy? I think she might get bonked by a bird now. Sadly. Oh no. Well, that was a. God damn it, man. That. <laughs> that was a quick one. We'll, we'll be right back. Okay, let's try that again without putting Mia in front. Again, this guy's gonna go for Tabarn as always. I don't think he even does damage, even if he hits him. But <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, this time I popped a pure water on Toronio. I don't think it matters. I think it takes zero damage anyway, but I got so many pure waters. I might as well use them for something. I hope Lucia is fine here. She's pretty dodgy. I think she'll be fine. We'll see. I might warp Ronald, actually. 
I think he might actually do really well against the Lagoose. If I can, like, warp him into the bushes or something, that'd be funny. I mean, he's super tanky, and he has a loose Slayer, which honestly sucks. So maybe I should give him a proper weapon. I, like, I have a million Vague Potties, so I, I don't really think he needs it, but, you know. I, I figured, why not? I mean, I got Lagoose Slayer, so I might as well use him for something. Okay, he's going for Toronio. I have a Fire Tome on Toronio. Oh, okay, he just crit. Well, that's kind of nice, I guess. I could warp... Okay, I know actually what I could do. I could warp Ronolf, and then I could warp Ike behind Ronolf. That'd be kind of funny. I would actually be kind of interested in doing that. But yeah, look at Ike now. Okay, so the Mola Grail is super good against the... Yeah, look, that's like a one-shot. The Bright Bow does actually... Doesn't suck too much against these guys, but... The Mola Grail is better. I'm going to Hamurn it. I brought a Hamurn Staff. There we go. And yeah, I think it's definitely time for some uh, warp shenanigans right here. I definitely think it's time for warp shenanigans. Uh, that's Tibarn. I thought it was an enemy hawk. Sorry, I didn't mean to be Lagoosists. They just all look the same to me. There we go, he's dead. And we definitely want to take care of the Siege Tomb guy as well. Maybe Gatra can reach him, we'll see. Alright, Seahark. I gotta, be, I gotta admit, Seahark... You know, he never really took off as much as I thought he did, but that's just because other characters like Moran kind of, like, carried for him. Uh, speak- Oh, why on earth do you not have a hand axe, buddy? Jesus Christ. Uh, that's really dumb. Why do you not have a hand axe? Well, maybe me, I can get you. Eh, she could get Adept, I guess. She can soften him up at the very least. No, nope, didn't get any. Alright, well, that kind of sucks. Alright, can I kill him now? Let's see, we have a Sonic Sword. That's enough. We'll do that. That is one Siege Tomb dealt with. I know there's some status staves, but that, that kind of worries me in regards to Ronald. Uh, but I guess I can pop a Pure Water on him. It's kind of scary, though. He'll have 18 rests, which should... It should make him resist a staff. If I do this, and then I put Ronolf, I could do the same thing with Ike. And then I can warp Ronolf onto this bush right here. He should be able to take out at least some enemies here. But yeah, if I can get Ike, like, behind him, I think that could actually work. Should have probably given him the Vague Cody instead of the Lagoon Slayer. I think it would have worked better for him. But, yeah. Details, details. Alright, uh, Gatry, can you one-shot these guys? No, you cannot. Okay, we actually have some guys to kill here, so we gotta make sure this guy dies. Uh, is it Urban time for the sniper? Yes, it is. Don't want the sniper flying around. There we go. And I think we'll go and dance for Ike. I, st I still forgot to put a Lagoostone on <laughs> Raisin. I'm a bit of an idiot, so my apologies for that. But I'll, I'll, de I'll definitely use Ike to shoot this guy down. I think Ike is going to be stupidly good against the final boss. Because, I don't know, I mean... I'm, I'm trying to think, like... Maybe Ashnar isn't weak to arrows? I don't know, like, he's a flyer, so he should be weak to fly to arrows. But there's no bow in the base game that can harm him. So did they actually code in a, a, an arrow weakness on his class? Part of me wants to think, no, that they didn't do that, because it just wouldn't make sense for them to do that. Because I don't think they would ever take into account a scenario where he would take damage from an archer. But it would be really funny if they did. <laughs> anyway, Nasir is ridiculous. Look at this guy. Holy crap, he's so good. And he has soul, you know, so we get to see that animation again. Gives me nice memories of the uh, Maniac mode. <laughs> Let's play. You know, soul animation. Oscar and his soul animations. That was like 50% of that entire LP. Alright. Well, Ileana, you're being very useful. But that's okay. Uh, we don't need to heal. So, Tiburn's just gonna go do his own thing. He's gonna massacre these guys because he is ridiculously strong, as you can see. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind these guys going for Tiburn. I don't mind him helping me clean up these guys a little bit. Because this, there's enough enemies on this map. Trust me. Uh, alright, that's okay. I can maybe move out of the bushes to kill that guy on the next turn. No damage, that's right, but I'm gonna get doubled, I think. Yeah. Kinda sucks, but that's how it goes. Oh, here comes the dragon. These guys are actually pretty strong. I don't even know if Tibarn one runs these guys, because they are ridiculous. He doesn't. Wow. Yeah, these guys are tanky. Holy crap, look at these guys. When you don't get one-runned by Tibarn... You know something's wrong. 
Alright, so as soon as the two range gang is done dealing with Ronolf, I, I don't think I have any more rune swords left. Oh god, there's a Wishblade guy. I pro Oh, <laughs> that can't be the Wishblade guy. I refuse to believe Ronolf only took one damage. I refuse to believe Ronolf only took one damage from that guy. That did not happen. What is up with Teronio critting? Jesus. My god. But yeah, none of the none of the one range guys wants to go for Ronolf. This kinda sucks. <laughs> I think Ike would have been better in that situation, honestly. Alright, I think if I want to warp in Ike, I need to I need to do a pure water on him. In fact, I think Ike might be better than Ronolf on the front lines, because at least he'll be Ah, they'll just one range him and then they'll canto out of him. Oh, there we go. This is why I warped him in. But oh, never mind. Good job. I thought I was gonna say he doesn't double the cats actually, but this is good. He's cleaning out the lagoose. Oh wow! Look at this guy. Good job. Now the reinforcements on this map. I don't know if on hard mode, but on maniac mode, the reinforcements on this map is ridiculous. Like there's so many of them. Holy crap! What level is Ronald now? He's level 18, so he's actually very close to capping out. That's a very good level, I like that. 25 speed. He could use to get some more speed, this guy. I don't mind that at all. So, are those ravens or hawks? Alright, here we go. Nesala, bye. Love how he dresses up as a soldier, it's so cute. There we go. <laughs> how did he hide his wings? Alright, so this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna do pure water on Ike, and then we're gonna dance for him. Is, is there any... Okay, so we gotta work to get this guy down. Uh, I don't have any Thunder Magic on Taroni. I should have brought that. That was actually kind of dumb. I sh should have taken that into account. But hey, Mia can still be useful. Look at that. So I think what we'll do... Wait, the Bolt Axe should, should actually be super effective, right? And I put one on... Ah, it's so bad. You know, it's so bad. Oh, God. Wow. What the hell? Are you... Are you kidding me right now? Ah! This is a scary Lagoose, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Look at these dragons, man. Oh my god. Well, at least I got Maraim in Wrath range. That's not something you get every day. I don't... I'm actually worried about him. I actually don't know if I can do this. I can't put him forward like this. It's gonna be... It's too scary. But yeah, I guess... The seer can still <laughs> he can still fight, I guess, but he's just gonna get two range though. Ah, Jesus Christ, man! I don't really have a lot of good one-two range. Eh. Can I do this? Might as well try. The birds were never that scary on this map. They're mostly just to take out your squishy units, but combat-wise, they were never like super scary. I think a good old-fashioned silver axe is what we need here. Here we go, and we're gonna dance for Ike, and we're gonna pop a pure water on him because uh, if I want Ike anywhere near there, he needs some resistance. I don't, I don't think I mind moving Ronolf out of the heel bush with Ike next to him. Uh, did he pop one? Yeah, he already popped one. Never mind. This is so that he can attack on the first turn. So let's warp Ike in uh, behind Ronolf, maybe like here. This is actually a pretty good spot for Ike right here, but it would be even better, I think, if, if there was another 1-2 range unit next to him. But we can start doing this. I just, ooh, I just realized I might break the Mullah Gear, or the Mullah Grail. No! He has a Rune Sword! God damn it. God damn it. Do I have a Rune Sword? Uh, no, I do not. But I do have the Vague Cotty. I, oh, now I can gamble Vague Cotty. Look at that, 100 crit. Ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Alright, so I think what I'll do, I don't want Ike to... I'm gonna give him the... Yeah, the Mullah Grail will break if I do this, so let's not do that. That would be bad. At least we got the dragon. And we'll get this cat. Actually, we won't get this cat. That kind of sucks. Tibarn will get him. Tibarn will get him. Surely Tibarn will get him. Right? Alright, hit points. Strength. Ah, I got speed! He's about to cap his defense too, that's nice. And S rank in lances, so if we ever get that wishblade, you know, we can finally get we can finally get on it. All right, I'm not gonna heal. I want Moraim to stay in wrath range. No, T Barn, what are you doing? T Barn, 
Tibarn, what are you- He's going for the goddamn heal hedge. You are such- You're such a waste of space, Tibarn. If I lose my healer because of you now, I'm gonna be so mad. Why? Never trust a green unit, man. You can never trust a green unit, man. It never. It just doesn't work. God damn it, no! Okay, she's, she'll be fine. But still. Only barely. Only because I gave her that- Oh, okay, alright. Okay. Oh, here we go. I've actually seen, like, on Maniac Mode, Tibarn can actually die pretty easily on this map because of the Blizzard Mages. I think it happened even during my Let's Play. But thank God Tibarn is helping me with these dragons, because they are a nightmare. You know what? I should have just warped an Ike. I shouldn't have warped an Ronald. I see that now. And the birds are actually being super annoying. Uh, I'm gonna have to use Lucia to help clean them out, but it should be fine now. Does Ronald double now? Doesn't matter. He crits. That's all he needs. I think I definitely want to go for like a quick boss clear. Oh, here we go. Bye, Nesala. I'm old! Oh god, imagine Neoluchi's stats in this randomizer if he was a playable unit. If you haven't seen Neoluchi's stats in Father Radiance, they're bonkers. They're like higher than Tibarn's. He's really strong. He's never used though. He's just an NPC with. He has stats in the game. Alright, I'm gonna murder this guy now. Bonk. And then I think I'll just move Ronald to take out this Paladin, if that's safe. I think it actually is. I mean, Ronald is... If Ike was in range, I could have gambled here, but I don't need to do it. It's okay, I think he'll be fine. I don't think there's that many magic users around here. Uh, there's a Wishblade guy, but I mean, Ronald has 27 defense right now combined, so... I think we'll be fine. Kind of annoying that Lucia doesn't double. But I think they'll go for Ike regardless, so I think it's fine. I should be careful though, they could go they could very easily go for Eliana, so. I definitely need to make sure she is healed. This map is just really annoying. It can take you off guard in so many different ways. Alright, so we have this guy. Can Mia double him? She can. With the silver lance, she should finish the job. There we go. God, can I get a Wishblade on Mia? That would have been so nice. God, I would have loved that. Alright, then we're gonna see if we can kill this Dragon Boy. Hit points, strength. Wow, Mia's getting some pretty good levels, though. Did I give her Adept? I did give her Adept. I think she caps skill pretty soon. Alright, well, Mordecai has to clean up, I guess. <laughs> Nothing new there. Okay, so, uh... Maram is pretty low, but he's in Wrath range. But... Eh, what if I Bolt Axe the guy from a distance? I should have like a 50% chance to crit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is it safe to move in with uh, Maram on such low... Oh, I think he just capped. Yep, he just capped. And it's a blank level up because he's capped virtually every stat that he can cap. Yeah, I don't think I want to move him in too fast here. And there's... These guys are ranged, so... Uh... Bolt... Do we want a Bolt Axe here? I don't think we do. Can... What can the Seer use? He can use Swords and Axes. I didn't bring a Hand Axe on him? How stupid am I? But this guy might have a Hand Axe. Yes! Look at that. Alright, let's move in. Let's move in right here. And equip the Hand Axe. I don't think he'll kill these guys, but he'll certainly wound them so that other people can come in. I want to heal Tibarn a little bit, just in case, because I know he has a habit of running off and dying, and it might also... Who's calling me at this hour? It's like 11. Oh. <laughs> it was an alarm. Uh, let's see. Uh, -ba -ba okay, so what do we do with Superbird? Let's dance the Hark a little bit closer to the front lines. I also want to be careful here, because there are birds nearby, and they kill my... my uh... Actually, I gotta keep him here. I gotta keep him here to protect Ileana. I just realized. Yeah, let's just do this. I, I don't want the birds to come kill me. Ah, oh, never mind! Tibarn being a bro right here, clearing out some of the birds. That's nice. Of course, that another bird is just gonna take that place. So. <laughs> oh shit, I just realized that is a sleep staff! Yes! Thank you, pure water. Thank you, pure. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not. Oh wow, that. Holy crap, that's a cool animation! Oh 
That is such a cool animation. That is the coolest animation I have seen in my life. You guys see that? It looked like a Pokemon move. Jesus! I want that tome. Wait, do I have that tome? I actually don't know. Do I? Anyway, I hope Ronald survives this. The dragons hit really hard. Uh, he has 27 defense, but I think the dragon's attacks are really... Okay, thank you. Wow, look at these guys. Jesus, they're so bulky. Okay, I need to make sure he has... He gets healed next turn. ASAP. Alright. Well, the reinforcement spam hasn't started yet. I know it will at some... Ah, there we go. There, it, it started. It has started, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I want Ronald here, because he can deal with those guys. That is why I want him here. So I'll put... I'll, I do want him to be in range of Ike, though. Uh, let's deal with the Wishblade guy first. One, two... And three. So I can... I guess I can kill the Sage. I do need to heal him, but that shouldn't be a problem. I can do that with Lucia. Or Ileana, if, if she's in range. I suppose I can do this. This is fine. I could Hammern as well, but I think this will be fine. Alright, let's see what she gets. She is about to cap as well soon. Hit points. Okay. Alright, let's go back to safety. Jesus Christ, this guy had such a cool... Oh boy. Uh, you know what we can do though? We can gamble here. Yes, we can gamble. This is fine. Oh ho ho! It's too bad we never get to see that animation again though, because that is... A really kick-ass animation. Now, we have to kill the this, this sleep staff guy. That's obviously a given. So let's just one-shot him. There we go. And you are dead. Boy, that is a very overkill, I'm aware. So Ike's gonna get attacked this turn, but that's, if anything, they'll get him into resolve range. I'm not too sad about that. Yeah, Mia, you can't really do much here. That kind of sucks, but hey, we can at least weaken this guy. Oh, there's a... I just realized there's a Sonic Sword Swordmaster right there. He can probably do some damage to Gatry, because Gatry's rest is awful. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. 30 might. Eh, it's actually scary to the point where I'm not entirely sure if I'm... if I'm sure or not, but... Yeah, let's just urban this. I mean, Mirai is in Wrath range. We might as well take advantage of that. It's a very rare phenomenon that he's in Wrath range. Not often we see that. So we're super birding now. But I don't really know if we can do anything with it. We can... If we shove... Ooh, okay. Can we shove? We might actually be able to do... Yeah, let's do something with the super bird, shall we? I feel like we need to heal at the very least. But we have Ileana for that. So we can do this. Uh, this is fine. Let's just top everyone off. And then let's super bird. This means we will have a super bird... Very close to the front lines, but Oki is bulky, so he'll be fine. Hit points, lock and resistance. Do we... Sure, you can be part of the super bird. Why not? You know what? Just this once. Alright, so who do I want to get rid of? Obviously the range dude. I think that's a given. So, this guy needs to die. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Yay, soul animations! Woohoo! Soul, my favorite skill in the game. There we go. And let's just get. Uh, we could probably. You know what we could do? We could make a wall here. Ah, they'll just fly over the trees. Let's put him next to Ike so I can't get surrounded as easily. And let's get rid of some of these birds, shall we? Let's not waste the urban if we don't have to. There we go. Uh, let's just put you in front of Bulky. Uh, maybe Mia can help out here. Let's see. Like Goose Lance, anyone? Ah, Mia. I wish you were better. Uh, how does she do against the dragon? Oh, wow. She actually kills the dragon. I think? That's a kill, right? If I heal her, which I can't... Okay, you know what? Ah, no. It's not good. It's not a good idea to have Mia on the front lines. It's never a good idea to have Mia on the front lines. Let's just heal up. And... Actually, let's just get out of here. You know what? Get out of here, Ileana. You're just gonna die. I know it. You're just gonna die. And it's gonna suck, so let's not do it. Alright, here we go! 
Here we go to barn. BB, get rid of that guy. Get rid of him. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ronald's gonna take a lot of fire this turn. Oh, okay, that's a uh, bishop. And life magic sucks, you know. Who, ca who cares? Oh, that's a wishblade general. I do care about that. Seven damage, that's a lot in terms of Ronald. Okay, dragon going for Ike. Oh, is that res No, it's not resolved, but it might be just. No, he's level 19 right now. Hippo, now get strength! Get strength, man. But yeah, all of these guys will go for Ronald right now. He has to vague Cotty, so he should crit like crazy. Don't disappoint me, Ronald. Is that a cap, Ronald? I think that might be. No, he's level 19 too. Hit points and <laughs> magic. Okay, he wants his rune blade back. I think. All right, this is fine. You're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna kill Olki, my friend. He is, he's good. Look at him. He's the superest super bird you've ever seen. Look at that. Can race and do this? I don't think so. Okay, I hope Ronald survives this enemy phase. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Come on. We just gotta make our way through a million Lagoos. And we can. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Crit. Crit, baby. Crit. We can. I know these reinforcements keep coming for a stupidly long time. So we just gotta fight our way through while we can and kill the boss quickly. Is it a Caesar and arrive? I actually can't remember. Get him. He still doesn't double the cats. That's kinda hard to pull off, I think. But he's good. He's killing and critting. And we still have like two vague cotties around, so they're plenty. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the reinforcements on this map. So ridiculous. So stupid. Alright. Uh. Yeah, Gatry is not really able to do a whole lot. God, he's so close to killing. I hate this. I, I really hate this. I don't like it at all. Okay, well. I think we'll take advantage of the Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Sword is pretty damn good here. We have to clear away these guys for if we want to move forward. So the question is now, who do we we should think about the Superbird this turn? I think I want to include Lucia in the Superbird. So I think I want a Superbird. What if I Superbird like right here? I might be able to kill the dragon that way. What if I gamble? It's, it's scary. I don't think I should do it. I don't think I should do it. But these dragons needs to die. Can I, uh... Brightbow, maybe? They're... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'll just kill a bird. But I have to kill the dragon. Because I'm gonna super bird on that spot right now. But you, do, you know what? I'm feeling a little adventurous here, so... That was a mistake. I don't know why I did that. That was definitely a big mistake. Maybe I'll get a crit. I probably... Oh, Mirai got healed. I'm such a moron. Well, I guess Nasir is gonna join the Superbird crew instead then. But that's okay. He'll be fine. I mean, the dragons, they don't hit super hard. They don't double. So they're not that scary in, 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 like, in a sense, but... It's still, I think, nice to not let them be around. So, we'll do this, and, uh, yeah, we have to deal with these two guys somehow. Seahark can help out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Bolt Axe, what? Why didn't I bring more? What happened to all my hand axes? Jesus Christ, this is, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. I gotta kill these guys. It's, but, Gatry was, like, super close to one-shotting, so, yeah, there we go. That actually helped. Stupid as it was, that actually did help. And then I think if, uh, we can move Gatry up here. If we get Mordecai to help Chip, I think Mia should be able to kill. I will get doubled here, because Mordecai is super slow, but that's okay. Alright, let's, uh, get this guy down. And now we have a Super Bird. We do, we do need to heal, though. So a Fortify, I think, is gonna be important. But we have one of those. I say we kill the priests. Should we even focus on the dragon? I'm actually not sure if we should. 
We can definitely get rid of the, the priests. We can, uh, if we do this with the Mullah Grail, we can, uh, oh, never mind. I think it, the time has probably come to Hermurn it. But yeah, a Fortify, I think, is necessary here. Uh, Vekati is not going to deal with that guy. What about the Irvin? I doubt it, actually. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, this is kind of bad. Can we... We still have Fortify? We should have one, I think, on... Yeah, Toronio has a Fortify, so that's good. We can finish off with the Fortify. So which one of these guys should die? I mean, this guy will do decent damage. Sure. I don't know. I think I can probably... Okay, I don't double this guy. That's actually kind of bad. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this at all. What about this guy? What about the general? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. But it would actually be kind of nice to get him out. Get him out of the way. Oh, what's that? Oh, he has Vantage. Again, yeah, skills. I should check those. I, I never do, but I should. Alright, he is smacked. And then I can move back. I can move back and protect him, I guess. And then I could do... Now, nah, I think the Urban is what we want here. The Dragon is so hard to kill. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, I did not miss that. I think Chibarn might actually go and kill that bird over there. But... I don't want to rely too much on green units that has hurt me in the past. But yeah, at least the Wishplay General is dealt with, so that's good. And that is Nasir's final... No, first level, actually. Hit point speed. Hey, look at that. Would you look at that? He capped his speed. That's actually pretty good. And, eh, you know what? Let's just... Let's just make sure we kill this guy. Come on, crit. There you go. Uh, that's it. You just have to think hard enough. If you ask for the crit, it shall happen. Alright, here we go. Fortify up. Let's get everyone topped off. Hopefully no one dies. I'm kind of scared, but we'll see what happens. And Ileana's in the back. Did someone maybe not get topped off? You know what? Let's just play it safe. I think most of these guys will actually go for Toronio since he has Provoke, if they can reach him. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, what will Tibaran do? Yeah, he goes for the bird, as I predicted, which is... Actually, I like that. Just get him out of the way. So he won't go and kill any of my squishy guys. And it should be possible, I think, to, to kill the boss next turn, maybe. It depends on the reinforcements that come out. And yeah, as I thought... I should have given him a Thunder Tome. Oh, my god. Oh, that's right. Take this Flare, boy. These guys have decent rest, so the Flare should do some decent damage, actually. Oh, no reinforcements. Well, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Alright, so let's get rid of the dragon first. Actually, let's hammer in the Mullah Grail. Who has to hammer? That's Lucia. Let's get it up. Because this is a good forge. It's basically a maximized silver bow in every... I think it's literally, like, capped out in every sense of the word. It has the best stats that a bow can... Eh, actually, no, I didn't give it crit. Should have given it crit. I should have given it crit. How about Laguse Bow? Well, it's effective, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. Can probably set up a good super bird for the boss. The boss is going to be tricky to hit because he's. Wait, no, you, there's no thrones in this game. Uh, yeah, no, there's bosses don't get thrones in this game, which is nice. Jesus Christ, man! What is up with these guys? That is the strongest dragon I have ever seen. Oh my God! What the hell? What is this? What is this dragon? This is the dumbest thing I have seen. Ever. You know what? I should just attack this guy up, up close with Ike. That's what I should do. I should attack this guy up close with Ike to get Ike into Resolve Range, and then I kill the boss with Ike. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do, because something tells me that this guy actually, uh, actually damages Ike. Uh, never mind. Uh, nope, 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 nope. You know what, Gatri, you get this one. You get this one. You're not good at a lot of other things, but you get this one. Actually, Tibarn might occupy the boss slot, now that I think about it. That would actually be kind of funny. Alright, I can't get a perfect super bird, but I can get the... I don't know why I didn't... Why didn't Kanto better with Lucia? That was kind of dumb. I could have included Ike in the super bird. 
So, uh, let's see how much damage this dragon does up close. It does 23, which is actually not enough to get Ike in super bird range, which is a little sad. So let's just focus on killing him instead. This would actually be a kick-ass soul if it proc'd. Soul, oh. You look at, actually, it won't, because it'll heal like 10. Yeah, well, <laughs> it did something, which is more than I can say for soul in, like, every other case. Alright, let's go get the boss. I don't think Ike will do that well against him without being in Resolve range. I could place Ike in his range. The boss has knives, so I don't think he'll do that much. Yeah, nah, this will take forever. Let's just, uh... Eh, let's just... Braybo is actually statistically the best weapon here. I love how this guy, like, has a quote thinking about Ike. Ike doesn't actually respond to him, he just like, oh, that guy looks like a commander. Nice. Yeah, Tiborn will go for the boss now. Next turn, at any rate. Alright, will we get more reinforcements? Yep, we will. Let's see if we can kill this turn. I doubt it, actually. But the Heaven Affinity is actually doing pretty good right now. Just, uh, FYI. Uh, yeah, let's see. So it's actually Ike who needs to do this. But yeah, let's just... Wow, this guy's impossible to hit. <laughs> a feral one. I love how he's like, Oh, that's a feral one. Okay, what about Irvin? Wow, this guy is... <laughs> oh, shit. I just realized. That could have gone really badly. Really badly. <laughs> but he's done now. Master Izuka, call him! Sorry, dude. We won't get Izuka until Radiant Dawn, I'm afraid. Alright, hit points and rest. And now we will leave those... Oh, we got a still out. Oh, nice. We will leave those two poor tigers alone. They will they can go and... We need to cure them somehow with the Galvir of Rebirth. Let's go cease. That's eight turns. Pretty good. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen... We're reaching the end. Actually, this, this is a really gratuitous scene. Like, this is actually, like, a really, like... This is a moment that doesn't get talked about a lot, I find. You know, when people think about creepy events, they always, like, go, like, ooh... Um... Like, Orson's wife and stuff like that. This is pretty nasty. This is pretty horrible. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen... It's time to march on the capital, boys and girls, ladies, gentlemen, everyone else in between. Join me tomorrow for the finale of this Let's Play. I'm kind of sad, actually, because I really enjoy this one. Hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Uh, take care and remember to uh, cut your nails. <laughs>